I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> My webcam is frozen, but, um... Oh, there I am. I'm not frozen anymore. I wanted to show you, uh, what I used to do coding. And, okay, my webcam keeps freezing, so ignore that. <laughs> I don't know how to make it not freeze, but what are you anyways? <laughs> um, I use Notepad++. Sorry. For, um... For coding. So, anyways, we're going to go to uh, Notepad++ and I'll show you where to get it and how to install it, and then I'll put a link to it in the or whatever, and in the description of this video, so you can find it easily. So, uh, yeah, it's freezing again. Let's see if I even spelt it right the first time. It's going to keep freezing on me. So we'll see here how long it'll take to make this video. Oh, I didn't. Close enough. 2D. 1D. It's not 2D in this 3D world. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm recording again. Okay, so Notepad++. Just Google it, and you can go to, you'll find that it'll come up the right at the top. You go to Notepad++, the installer, and uh, here's the, uh... Alright, well, I'm trying to get my toolbar to come up. So I can show you that I already have it downloaded. And so I can I'm, I'm like transparent. I'm a transparent ghost and I'm frozen there with my webcam. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm having uh technical difficulties tonight. I might have to make part two of this. Is that's where you get Notepad++. You can even download it here. Notepad from Softronic. Softronic's a good uh, place to uh, get stuff from here. And Notepad is Notepad++. It's free, so that's um, so why I recommend using it. And it's one of the reasons why I use it myself. Alright, I got my toolbar to come up tonight. Okay, so I have it open now, and uh, this is a project that I'm working on. I won't show it uh, right now, but uh, I'm going to save it anyway, because it's always good to do that when you're working on a project. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to open a new one, and it will open very shortly hopefully okay so it opened and I'm just gonna do some really basic HTML and CSS because if you don't know any it's good to start with basic stuff so you have your opening tags and closing tags so it's open here and it's closed down here. And to close it you need to forward slash thing right here in your these are called element tag and it's tagging the whole um the whole thing, the whole system thing that we're gonna do right now. But we need two tags because you need opening and closing. And then we're going to do body tags also. So, this is basically the structure that we need for 
the document. Okay? So you just basically need head and then body. This is where your links go. I'll do that in another video. And then this is where all the stuff that your your web page is going to display. This is where you put your uh, style stuff. Your CSS. Because I don't want to make this really long. So, uh, what, uh, oh, I'm frozen, no, I'm not. So, um, what you're going to do here is you're going to put your, like, your titles and stuff like this. Close it. This stands for heading, I'm pretty sure. And there's six of them. So H1 is the biggest, and H6 is the smallest. So the standard learn how to code stuff is hello world. And then you, uh, to style it, I learned first how to do inline styling or inline CSS. So basically, this is not how to do it professionally. This is like basic learn, just learning how to do it sort of stuff. So, uh, style here. We're going to target the H1 in the hello world and we're going to make it big. And I'll show you some, I guess some quick a little other stuff to do. Uh, first, actually, we're going to uh, put a background on here. So what you need to do is you need the body. So body. And you need curly brackets for everything, right? Because it's CSS up here. And this is HTML with the, uh, I don't know, pointer brackets, because they're pointy on the ends, but the curly ones, that's for CSS, which is what I'm going to teach you right now. So H1, oh wait, we're doing uh, body background right now. Background, and then you need those semicolons? No, that's a colon, not a semicolon. Semicolon is with the uh, the dot in the co comma. So that's what we want, the two dots. And we say background. Um, for this one, I'm just going to put a green background because why not? the semicolon to put at the end of the CSS stuff. Always, always. If you don't put it on the end, your code is not going to work. And I found that out the hard way because there were many times I wanted to rip my hair right out of my head because it wasn't, uh, wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So I'm like, well, and then I posted my code on uh, uh, some forums and stuff, and then people are like pointing out to me, yeah, yeah, you forgot the semicolon at the end. Like, really? Just that one thing made it not work? And yes, that one thing, if you forget it, it will make your stuff not work. So that's always good to know. So uh, now, I'm going to... I'm going to target the uh, H1 right now. So H1, uh, curly rackets again, because you kind of need those. And you need both of them. If you forget the one at the bottom, it will not work. And if you forget this one, it will not work. So you, like, it's very precise. You need to include what you need to include, or else it will not work. So anyways... Uh, we're going to say 
font size. This is what uh, you use. Oh, size. This is your text bigger, smaller, and to well, you know, use the size, change the size, right? So uh, we're going to say 50 pixels for this, and you nev can't forget the semicolon. And then you, if you want to put a color, put a color, I'm going to put white. You can use a hex code or you can, you need a hashtag for hex colors and for white it's FFF and then you need semicolon to finish it off. Oops semicolon and then uh, you want it to be uh, in the center so text if you want you don't have to follow my example it's just teaching you a few things to start you off so text align center oops center and let's go check this out now. Oh, we need to save it first. It's always the thing you need to do. And oops, you need to save it as an HTML file. So these are the things you really need to know to uh, start off code. So you need to save it as an HTML file because if it's not an HTML file it will not display as HTML in your browser. Okay, so HTML um, lesson one and I gotta move myself here so I can move out of the way and I'm going to just put it this is a uh, and that I want to put up where I put everything I'm going to see how cluttered my desktop is because I haven't organized it in a little while so uh, yeah desktop and I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to save it as an HTML file. So it's just a normal text file. You don't while. And then you save it. And then what you do is when it's saved, it is saved, it'll turn from blue to gray. And then you go to... Uh, I don't want to download it because I already downloaded it. Okay, so this is the file right here that I saved. And yeah, I have so I'll just ignore my clutter. <laughs> and my videos are, are not always going to be like this. But I'm going to just open it quickly to show you what uh, the end result is. If it will cooperate. Because I can only record 15 minutes. So I'm gonna pause it. All right, so this is what we got. This is what I showed you how to do today. Is you got the background color for the body. Try to do a color, and and then this is the H1. We made it white, and we show you how to move it around and stuff like that in uh, other videos. So, anyways, I hope you...